Taurus Gemini. Thank you so much for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot. This is going to be a reading for cuspers. There's no way this can connect to every single viewer out there. So I read the cards and you decide how they apply to you. Thank you so much for all the support on the channel. I appreciate all of you so very much. Who like, subscribe, and leave comments. It helps to know that I connect to people. That really is awesome to see the comments. So the oracle cards will go here, which are all for you, and the tarot deck over here, which are the energies around you, but you'll probably show up over here as well. And your first instinct when I pull a card of who it relates to is probably your best choice. So let's get started for you. Welcome cross watchers, and feel free to vice versa, masculine, feminine, and just leave what doesn't connect to you. So the first one you have is 32 Prosperity. This is beautiful, Taurus, Gemini. So... This talks about good things coming to you. This is talking about overflowing. Do you see how the water is overflowing into the tub and it's kind of dark and it's kind of, you see the moon, it's hidden behind the tree a little. So prosperity is coming to you. You can't see that there's, looks like little Benjamin heads in the little plants down there. So a little gold pieces so something in your life is shifting out of the dark you're being more prosperity prosper you're having prosperity with coins so the next one is boundaries this is beautiful so you're going to need to set boundaries of course if you come into prosperity with coins there's going to be people who are going to show up out of the woodwork, so to speak. People showing up, you know, wanting what you have. So you have to set boundaries so people know how far they can get to you. And it will help you stay on your path and keep your coins close to you without giving to the wrong person. So the next one is 11, Inspiration. So I do feel like it's dark over here and then you have the... Celtic cross in the middle and then here I see the barren forest that looks like you've came out of a very difficult barren life cycle is all I can see and I see the alpha wolf and the new direction you're healing from something that was very cold very bitter and now you have a new life path that you're following and you're going in a new direction very nice beautiful so now I'm going to pull the chakra wisdom deck for you so maybe it will be around the full moon too. The full moon is around the 27th of February. So maybe that's when things will shift for you or you'll notice something around then. Or I'm not sure. So let's pull these. You have the Hierophant. So the Hierophant is spiritually knowing. Knowing that something is coming to you. Knowing how things are going to end up. This could be... Um, legal it could be marriage divorce it could be to me it's spirituality like you have a lot of spirituality spirituality you could have upgraded it but i feel like you connect with somebody else on a real spiritual level so the star beautiful so this talks about putting the energy into yourself when you put your energy into yourself and build yourself up especially out of after a dark situation and dark cold bitter time then you shine like a star and then that attracts other people who are positive to you. It attracts all people to you, but definitely you would rather interact with the positive people who respect your boundaries, respect your light shine, and that sort of thing. So the next one is Seven of Wands. So Seven of Wands tells me that you have boundaries. This is a boundary card too. So you've had two cards within six cards that are talking about boundaries. So you... I feel like you have a knowing. You know your energy and you know who you need to set boundaries with. So Knight of Wands is somebody who comes in and out. Somebody who's a player energy who doesn't stay. They play the emotions. So I feel like they could be coming around you playing emotions like, oh, I need help. I need this. I need that. So Nine of Coins is you looking at your big picture you're looking at the future and planning accordingly like putting things where they need to be getting organized and this makes you feel secure this makes you feel beautiful that you have the ability to organize and prosper the hermit so the hermit could be Virgo placement but this is clarity when she looks at her lantern she gets answers that she may have been confused about Hermit also relates to withdrawing from other people and being 
by yourself so that you can get answers. It's very hard to find clarity when there's people around you and people are putting ideas in your head and telling you what you should do with your money and do this and do that. The answers will come to you when you're by yourself. So Four of Cups is somebody looking back on a situation. So I don't know if somebody's regretting they're not with you anymore. They could see your abundance now and they could be spending a lot of time looking back on that or if that's you looking back on a situation that didn't work out in the past. So Three of Coins, this is beautiful. This could be climbing the ladder of success or it could also be coworkers. It could be both. Most cards have two meanings. Look at this. This is the world. Wow. So this talks about your world is changing tremendously. This talks a couple things. This could be you're going to find somebody to marry. Or it talks about you're marrying your spirituality or marrying yourself in a way. That you're coming aligned with your energy and your self-worth in a way you probably never maybe have before is what I feel from that. So the next one is Ten of Swords. So Ten of Swords says that somebody betrayed you. So I feel like you ended that cycle with this person. And it's clarifying the Hermit card, which would tell me maybe you haven't ended it yet. But if you get clarity about this, you will end it. So Three of Swords. So somebody you ended it with somebody who betrayed you because they brought a third party into a love situation. Somebody involves somebody else. Look at all the yellow. So this tells me that this was for your highest good. This was supposed to work out before your abundance came. Because no way did you want to have somebody who betrayed you come with you when you came into your abundance. So the sun, wow, this is beautiful. So this says you are going to be happy and you're going in a new direction, which we've gotten that all over this reading. This is the chariot right here. So this card has two meanings in it. Most cards do, and it's clarifying the world. So your world is changing. You're going to be successful and happy. You're leaving the cold behind you, and it's because you had faith, I feel. You had faith of what was coming for you. So Eight of Swords is somebody who self-sabotages, somebody who's in their own mental blockage. It could be literal jail or prison as well. So it feels like the person who betrayed you is in a excruciating self-sabotage right now. They realize what they did and what they are losing out on now as a result of what they did. So Nine of Wands is you being in warrior mode. I feel like you are very protective over what you have now. You're going to be very protective moving forward. You are not going to just let anybody around you. And it's because of the betrayal with the third person or third something interfering in a love relationship. And then you have strength, which is Leo placement. Beautiful. So you are really strong right now. You are in your power in more ways than one. Your spirituality has been upgraded. I feel your income has been upgraded. And you're knowing. You just know who is for your highest good and who's not. And it might have taken you a while to get to this place is what I'm feeling. So the first one is the priestess. Wow. So this is spirituality kind of like the Hierophant but this is almost like psychic ability somebody has psychic ability they have their healer they could possibly be um, that's really beautiful really maybe you're going to become a healer so eight of fire is blame so somebody is blaming somebody else for something that they didn't do so be aware of that so consequences. This fell out when I was shuffling. I wondered if it would come out and I didn't know what it meant. So somebody who's blaming you are going to have consequences for what they're doing right now. Somebody is going to, yeah, be sad that they made things worse by blaming you for something you didn't do. Look at this in the sun twice. So you have beautiful abundance coming to you. Happiness at tenfold is all I can see. You are going to be so happy. You're going to have friends around you who enjoy the same things you do. Just beautiful, beautiful reading. I feel like I could stop here and this would be a good reading. So Three of Sky is talking about the third party situation again. So I do feel like these people who involved you in a third party are going to see your success and that is probably going to be some of their consequences of seeing you prosper. And this is going over the priestess so I do feel like you kind of had some premonition or knowledge of this happening and maybe you told one of them or a couple of them and they didn't believe you so seeking is 
somebody cold who watches you. Somebody who doesn't communicate. Very cold person. Six of Sky. Six of Sky is you removing yourself from people who weren't for your highest good. People who just brought drama into your life, chaos, who just would come around and things would just be terrible when they came around. You're like, I'm out of here, people. So, Cat Magic. This is a really good reading. So, this is, again, it could be your spirituality. It could be that you manifested this beautiful stuff coming to you, your happiness. You're very grounded, I feel. But you're very open. I feel like you're high in your spirituality. I'm getting spirituality or religion or both all over this reading. Somebody is really strong in their higher power of their selves and the higher power that gives them their self-esteem and confidence and belief system. Very beautiful. So I'm going to switch now to the Oracle of E for you. So the first one that comes up for you is 11. 11 is a master number because it's the same number multiplied. This is bring it. So something with your voice or your emotions is telling the universe that you're ready. You are ready for them to bring what you feel like you deserve. So the next one is talking smack 26. So this talks about you going to your son and there's people that are going to talk smack about it. And it feel, seems like you're ready for it. You... I feel like you know, if you have a lot of intuition, you know how things are going to play out once your abundance comes and what these people are going to try and do to either get back in good graces with you or just try and run you in the ground, basically. So, hasta la vista, baby. So, you are ending something. Hopefully, it's the cold, hard times, the difficult, chaotic people, the third-party situation. You are saying goodbye to something and never looking back again. And the universe is bringing you beauty. They're securing you and the light is what I feel. Because they are happy that you have looked out for yourself and done what was good for you. You did not allow other people to bring you down and do what they wanted you to do. You did what you wanted to do. So you have 44 unexplained wonder. Magical blessings and miracles are reoccurring in your life. All prayers are answered now. This is the unicorn fish. And look at how the light is right there. So I do feel like it says it all. Magical blessings, unexplained wonder. Your first card was prosperity and change. 32 together would be 5, which is change. So change is going to be good for you. So please don't be scared of it. 27 push to surface you may have become complacent you might be stalling or in need of a new surge of energy become aware of the dynamics in your life so where it was dark you're now being uplifted to the light something about you is going to start all over maybe the inner child in you is going to come out that you stuck stuffed way inside you because things weren't going good and you're like oh just go away inner child Go deep down inside. I can't deal with you right now. So a lot of emotions, a lot of magical and wonder in this reading. Really beautiful reading. So the first one is Father Sky, Trust in the Unknown. I, I can't get any more spirituality or religion in this reading than already is in this reading, I tell you. So this is Father Sky. Whoever your higher power is that you believe in. And this is the ego getting ready to grab a thunder, a lightning bolt with its talons. That represents Zeus. The power you are in right now is beautiful. The blessings that are coming to you, you deserve. You did something to put good into the universe that they're bringing this back to you. So broken arrow. Embrace the energy of peace. So when the Native Americans made peace with people they or other tribes they would break the arrow and a symbol of feeling peace with the other tribes or whoever they were breaking the arrows with this is also a compass to me so it says you can go any way you want but you are in the energy of peace so when the abundance and prosperity come in and the boundaries you're entering a energy of peace something is just enlightened you and lifted you up and I feel like it's something you did in this lifetime that has brought this prosperity to you. You have done a lot of good things is what I'm feeling 
whether you realize you are doing them or not, but this is a beautiful reading. So thank you so much. Bless you.